Today I'm going to show you how to make meatloaf and potatoes in the air fryer. We're going to keep it cool in the kitchen while it's blazing hot outside. We're in Texas and we're still feeling the heat. I got to give my husband a meatloaf sandwich. I cannot go through the summer and not give him one. This rustic meatloaf recipe this is one of our favorite recipes that I have on my blog, Catherine'sPlates.com. So come on over here, you guys. I've got everything all ready. Let's put this one together. Now I'm using an Instant Vortex Plus air fryer. It's got a large basket. This is a six quart. We're going to be able to cook our potatoes in it and then also the meatloaf all at the same time. So in a large bowl, I have two pounds of ground chuck. And I just kind of broke it up a little bit to help the mixing process. All right, here's the ingredients for the meatloaf. Besides the ground beef, we've got some panko crumbs, bread crumbs, eggs, milk, Parmesan cheese, parsley, onion, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. And then we've still got a glaze to put on the top of it, and then we're going to also add potatoes, and I'll show you how you're going to do that. All right, to the ground beef, we're going to crack four eggs. I'm just going to place them into a small bowl. That way we can check for shells. That's three. And four. I'm going to lightly beat this together with a fork and we'll add that to our ground beef. There we go. All right, we're going to get our panko crumbs or you can use regular bread crumbs. We're going to put two cups into our meat mixture with the eggs. I'm using a half a cup to measure it out. So I'm going in four times. I love these right here. I have a one cup, but I'm not sure where it's at, so I'm using the half cup. We're going to add in a quarter cup of parsley flakes. These are dried. A quarter cup of Parmesan cheese that we've shredded. Got half a cup of milk. One teaspoon garlic powder. We're going to put in one teaspoon of salt. And half a teaspoon of black pepper. We're going to take one yellow onion and we're going to dice it up. Just take off the ends, outer layer. Toss that. All right, y'all let me know what is your favorite meatloaf. You can practically make any flavor meatloaf that you want. I've made so many meatloaves. I've done, this is the rustic one. I've made a Philly cheese steak. I've made an Italian version of a meatloaf. That was really delicious. And I've made cornbread stuffing meatloaf. These are all linked in my Catherine'sPlates.com recipe blog. And you can find the videos for them also there. I think I'm going to do three quarters of this onion because it's pretty big. Make sure these are diced pretty good. These will melt down into your meatloaf. Let's add that to our meatloaf. I'm going to take some kitchen gloves, put them on, and then we're going to mix that mixture all together until well combined. All right, get on in there. 
Parmesan in there is going to give it a great flavor. And that parsley, y'all let me know what else you like to put into a meatloaf. This is a great mixture for meatloaf sandwiches. All right, go down to the bottom. Yep, all mixed. There we go. Now what we're going to do is get some foil. I'm going to lay two sheets down. They're going to be overlapping. Right in the center of the foil, I'm going to spray it with some cooking spray, just very lightly. That's enough right there. We're going to take our meat mixture, we're going to place it right in the center of our foil. We're going to form a loaf, be about 8 inches, 4 inches by 2 inches thick. I'm going to grab the basket for our air fryer. And we're going to take the foil of our meatloaf and we're going to form a bowl around it. All right, we're going to bring the meatloaf over. We're going to place it into our pan very carefully. All right, now you want some edges around it. All right, we're going to grab some potatoes. I am using bite-sized creamers, and these are red and white potatoes. And they look like this right here. Now, I've scrubbed these off and dried them off. I'm going to add a little bit of oil, about two tablespoons. We're going to season with some salt and pepper. A little bit of garlic right across the top. This is garlic powder, some onion powder. All right, I'm going to put some parsley in there to give the potatoes some color. All right, let's finish mixing that up. All right, we're going to put this on the edges of our foil. As many as you can get in there. All right, we're going to make a delicious glaze to go on top of our meatloaf before we cook it. I've got half a cup of ketchup. One third cup brown sugar. Now I've packed it. We're going to be putting in some Dijon, one teaspoon. We're going to drizzle in a little bit of Worcestershire. Got a quarter of a teaspoon. Now I'm going to add in a little bit of crushed red pepper. This is optional or some sriracha sauce. If you like any heat in there at all. There we go. Let's whisk this together. Let's go slather this on the meatloaf. Y'all make sure y'all give that a try and see if you need to adjust any flavors. But let me tell you, that's delicious. Hey, let me know how you glaze the top of your meatloaf. I'm going to go down the sides here. I'm putting it on there pretty thick. All right, we're going to place our basket back into the air fryer. We're going to hit air fryer, temperature 375, time, we're going to start with 30 minutes. There we go. Five minutes before our air fryer meatloaf is done on the timer, I'm going to go in, I'm going to check it with a thermometer that will test for the meat temperature. It should be 165 or over that just a little bit to make sure that your meat is cooked through. If not, just put it back in there until you get to that temperature. All right, I've let this rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna pull it out using the foil as a handle. 
And I'm going to place it on a cutting board. Now what I'm going to do is remove it from the foil. I'm just going to pull it from the sides and then we can slice it. Just lift it up, their spatula. There we go. All right, let's cut in. You always want to let it rest. That way it pulls itself all together and it doesn't fall apart on you. Oh, look at that. Who's ready for a piece? And look at those potatoes, y'all. They are fork tender. I told y'all, this came out of the air fryer. Oh, look how tender, moist that is. Mmm, let's give that a try. Mmm. That's delicious. And I'm going to tell you what, my husband is already getting his bread ready <laughs> to make a sandwich. That caramelization with that ketchup brown sugar and that mustard, a little bit of red pepper flakes, which my husband will be happy with that one. Oh, that's so delicious on there. Ooh, and those potatoes, they're so creamy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. There you go. Don't heat up your oven. Put it in an air fryer. <laughs> and if you don't have an air fryer, guess what? I have a recipe out there for meatloaf that I cook in the crock pot, and that one is delicious. It's stuffed with cheese. I'll link that one down below if you want to check it out. All right, you guys, give me a thumbs up on this one. Stay cool this summer. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below, and don't forget, leave me a comment. All right, I'll see y'all on the next episode. Mm.